I'm going to teach you a new Palestinian dialect lesson. I'm going to focus on the days of the week. I'm going to show you the differences between the dialect and the standard, the modern standard Arabic way to say them. So let's begin. First thing that I want to teach you today is how to say day and today. So day in Palestinian uh, Arabic, in the dialect, uh, again, it's Shami dialect, it's the, 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 the dialect spoken in uh, Palestine, Palestine, Jordan, Syria, and Lebanon. So it's a dialect that is spoken in all these four countries that are called countries of Sham. And that's why the whole dialect of these four countries is called Shami Arabi or Levantine Arabi. In particular, Palestinian Arabic, I'm going to teach you, which is similar, of course, it makes part of this whole Shami dialect, so it's very, very similar, but I'm going to focus on it, on the Palestinian dialect. So, uh, in the Palestinian dialect, if I want to say day, day, we say yom. Yom, in standard Arabic, it's yom. It's not a, it's, it's not a whole different word, but it's yom, yom, day, yom. It was in, my, in modern standard Arabic, yom. So let's focus on yom. And if I want to say today, today, ilyo. So what, what we do is actually add the article, which means the day. Ilyom means the day, but it also is used as um, today. Ilyom, ilyom. Of course, yom in modern standard Arabic becomes alyom today. Yom means day, alyom today. But Palestinian dialect is yom ilyom, yom day, ilyom today. Why am I teaching you day and today in order to teach you the days of the week? Because next, after I teach you how to say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you will see how important it is in order to say today is, tomorrow is, or whatever. Okay, well let's start with Sunday. We start from Sunday to so Saturday. Sunday, in Palestinian Arabi, we say ahad, <coughs> ahad, ahad. Easy. Ahad, not ahad. 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 In modern standard Arabic, we also say ahad. So you see, the dialect doesn't differ a lot from the modern standard Arabic. It's the same, same word. Sunday, ahad. By the way, it sounds a lot like wahed. Wahed means one, number one. So we start the week with the first day, which is ahad, which is <laughs> Sunday. That's why they come from the same root letters. Ahad. Wahed, very very similar. Okay, so Ahad is Sunday. Monday is Tinen in Palestinian dialect. Tinen, Ahad, Tinen, Tinen. Tinen is also number two in Palestinian dialect. Tinen is two and is Monday. Why is two similar to Monday? Because it's the second day of the week. Ahad, it resembles Wahed, which is one. Tinein is exactly like Tinein, which means two. It also means Monday. Okay? In standard Arabic, it's if nine. If nine. So Tinein, if nine. Still, it's not a lot of difference. Um, by the way, if nine in modern standard Arabic also means two. Okay? If nine, if nine, it also means two. So Ahad, Tinein, instead of Ahad, if nine. Let's go back to Palestine Arabic and learn um, Tuesday. Tuesday we say talata, 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 that's Tuesday, talata, talati means free in Palestinian Arabic, I have Layla here, but you can take a moment to me here, and then marhaba, marhaba, talata, talata, one second, so Tuesday is Talata, Talata in Palestinian Arabic, and it resembles a lot Talati, which means three. So you see, we're, we're starting from Sunday, which sounds or, or resembles one, and then Monday is exactly like two, Tinein, and then Tuesday is Talata, which sounds or is similar to Talati, which means three. Talata is Tuesday. By the way, in modern standard Arabic, is it's Thulatha, Thulatha, that's Tuesday, Thulatha, Talata. You see, it's much easier to say Talata. Uh, and uh, by the way, Thalatha in modern standard Arabic means three. So, modern standard Arabic, Thalatha, Thulatha, three, Tuesday, Palestinian Arabic, Talati, Talata. Talati is three, and Talata is Tuesday. Then we have Wednesday. Wednesday, 
Layla's here, so I need to make sure. Peel. Then we have Wednesday. Wednesday in Palestinian Arabic we say Irba. 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 Similar to what Layla is saying, which is Arba. Arba means four in Palestinian Arabic or in standard Arabic. Irba is the day. That's the fourth day, which is Wednesday. So Irba. In standard Arabic, Wednesday is Arbi'a, so it's a little bit more difficult. Arbi'a becomes Irba'a. Irba'a, that's Wednesday. Thursday, which is the fifth day, looks like Khamsa, which means five, so it's Khamis. Khamis means Thursday, both in Palestinian Arabic, in the dialect, and in the modern standard Arabic, the Fusha uh, classical language. So Khamis. Khamis is Thursday, and it looks a lot like Khamsa, which means five. Now, Jum'a ah is Friday. Jum'a ah doesn't have the logic behind the numeration, like the numbers that we have uh, seen so far until until Thursday. It was like one, two, three, four, five, fifth day, right? Jum'a, ah, which means Friday, it doesn't mean it, it like it doesn't mean six or something because six is sitta, so it doesn't mean the sixth day. It doesn't have this whole logic behind it. Um, as the days from Sunday until Thursday, but it has a very, very logical explanation. It comes, Juma comes from the root letters Jama'a. And I think you know by now, because I told you a lot of times, I told you a lot of times that Arabic language is a Semitic language, and Semitic languages usually are based in uh, root letters that are so important. From these root, three root letters, usually you can create a numerous and, and like an um, incredible number of, of words. Uh, that come from one root. They have. They might have um, different meanings, but similar to the meaning to the root meaning of the root letters. So, one second. Layla, stand short and I'll make a video. Okay, but stay with me here. What is it? Type it. That's Palestine Arabic. What am I talking with my daughter? Stand me. I'm going to end the course. I'm going to end the video. I'll give you the details. Okay? No. So Friday. So Friday has this. Uh, logic behind it, which is which comes from the root letters jama'a. These three letters jama'a, they mean to collect, to group things together. So jum'a, Friday. What does jum'a have have to do with to collect, to group? Jum'a, it's Friday. It's when people are grouped or gathered into to pray. So that's the logic behind the naming of the day Friday. Jum'a in Arabic because it comes, this word Jum'a comes from the root letters Jama'a to collect to group, mm -hmm. and that's why people are grouped because Muslims pray on, on Friday, and that's why it's called Jum'a. By the way, if you don't see the logic, um, university in Arabic is Jami'a. It looks, it sounds a lot like Jum'a. What does Friday and university have to do? <laughs> when it comes to meaning, they have to do a lot when it comes to meaning because both of them they come from Jama'a as root letters, which mean to collect and to group. People in Friday and Jama'a are collected and are grouped to pray. People in the university in the Jama'a are collected and are grouped to study. Hmm? Another word is Mujama'a, is where people are grouped to buy, to make shopping. Mujama'a means mall. So all these words are connected with one root letter. What is Jama'a, which means to collect and to group, and that's why Jum'a is Friday. Jum'a doesn't change, by the way, from the Palestinian Arabic and the MSA. It's the same Jum'a. It's the day of Friday. Then we have the day Sabt. Sabt. Very easy. Sabt. Sabt means Saturday, both in Palestinian Arabic and in Standard Arabic. Sabt. Uh, look, it sounds a lot like Shabbat in Hebrew because you know Hebrew and Arabic they are both Semitic languages uh, they come from one root family uh, um, language family you can call it and they are very similar so the, the words you can, might find many words that are similar so Shabbat, Sabt um, Sabt both in Palestinian and in Standard Arabic it means Saturday so let's go through the days again in Standard Arabic um, it's Ahad if nine Thulatha, Arbi'a, Khamis, Jum'a, and Sabt. In Palestine Arabic, Ahad, Tinein, Thalata, Irba'a, Khamis, Jum'a, Sabt. 
you might see a lot of a lot of similarities between the standard and fasting. So these are the days of the week. Why did I teach you at the beginning uh, how to say Yaum day or Al Yaum today? Because in order to say the day in Arabic, we we don't usually say Tinen. It's it's Monday, Tinen. You don't say just the name of the day itself. You say Yom Tinen, the day of the name of the day. So, in order to say <laughs> you know, now you will see the anger of an Arab parent. In order to say Sunday in Arabic, it's not enough for you to learn the word Ahad, which means Sunday. You, we usually say Yawm al Ahad, the day of Sunday. That's how we indicate the day. The day. Tuesday, Yawm al Talata. When will I see you on Saturday? I'll see you Yawm al Sabah. Okay. So I'm gonna finish this <laughs> lesson here because Layla is seeking a lot of attention. This is the way to say the days. Yom, yom Ahad, Yom Tinen, Yom Talata, Yom Erba, Yom Khamis, Yom Juma, Yom Sabt. Combine the word Yom, which means day, and the name of the day that you learned, and you can indicate the day the day that you want in both Palestinian and in standard Arabic. It's the same. You have to insert the word Yom and the word to say today. today you have to add the article al or il yom. Il yom. Il yom means today. Il yom. Yom il ahad. So today, actually, this is a fact. Il yom yom il ahad. What am I saying? Today is the day of Sunday. Practically, I'm saying today is Sunday. Il yom yom il ahad. You can say il yom il ahad. Today is ahad right away. But we are, this is the way Arabs. Um, Speak, and this is the way the language works. You have to say اليوم يوم الأحد. Today is the day of Ahad, the day of Sunday, and this is how you indicate Sunday on on its own. All right. I hope you like this lesson. I hope you memorize the names of the days, both in standard Arabic and Palestinian Arabic, and know how to use them with the, with the insertion of يوم and then the name of the day. All right. I hope uh, you liked it. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, and subscribe to my channel for more news um, applications. By the way, for my um, standard Arabic course in Nazareth are still running. We are looking for the last. Five uh, students because half more of more than half of the class is already uh, um, completed, and I'm uh, also holding a Palestinian dialect course in April from the 7th of April until the 18th of April. But applications will be open like next week, so make sure you empty your schedule and you prepare yourself to immerse you know immerse yourself in the, um, the dialect. <laughs> uh, of course, with me in the Holy Land. I will see you in the following Arabic lesson with me, Maha. Ma'asalama. Bye. Bye.